Hey guys, Dr. John Russin here, and we're going over how to maximally brace at the core. But as we previously reviewed, the maximal brace at the core is dependent on having torque and tension through the shoulders, through the hips, with pre-tension. So once we've done that, Lindsay steps up off the rack. We have the shoulders pre-tension, we have the hips pre-tension. The last thing that we're gonna be doing is taking a breath in from the mouth, finishing it off with the nose, and then finally having a slight crunch that's gonna happen here at the core. We want 360 degree expansion at the core to put as much tension through the torso as possible here. Another way to think about it is just slightly closing down the space between the bottom of the sternum and the pubic symphysis here in that slight crunching moment just to make sure that we do not overextend. This is going to be the triad of pillar tension and torque output that should be done before every single squatting attempt. And it's also something that if we can keep maximal amounts of tension and internal tension, that's going to yield a far smoother, more authentic squat pattern with a better bar position and a better torso angle.